Hi everyone, this is Jean and here is my new Black Cat Lynx cutter. So first I will show you the control panel and there are 10 buttons on it. The ones on the right are the four-way direction and this one in the middle sets the origin or the blade starting point. Now the buttons on the left I actually haven't used them very much because this cutter is still um, quite new to me but I have used this online offline button a lot as well as the menu button when I uh, use the laser registration to set the origin. Now let me show you the blade holder. So I am using the original blade holder because the click or the preset holder um, was out of stock when I tried to order it. And the main difference between this Lynx cutter and my other um, cutters are these clamps at the back. So the Lynx comes with three of these clamps. And I could move them when down like that or when I load the cutting mat and I could just release them and just take out my cutting mat or I could just unload the cutting mat by using these buttons and now I'll show you where is the on off switch it is actually here on the side and the USB is on the right and now just for the fun of it I am going to show you how the size of the silhouette compares to the links now the links is very tall it is a lot taller than my silhouette and for that matter it is a lot taller than all my other cutters Okay, so now let me turn on the links. And I'm going to try to load the cutting mat with one hand because I am holding the camera with the other. Now I am actually using the Cricut cutting mat with my links and this cutting mat um, was brand new when I first used it with the links. Now because the clamps at the back of the cutter are very are very tight. So tight that they actually create this track marks on my cutting mat. I don't know if it shows well on camera, but I hope that you can see this this tracks. They they don't bother me very much, but I thought it is something that I would show you. And now I'm going to try to load this mat with one hand, like that. Okay. To load the mat, I will need to set it to offline and move it in, like that. Now I am going to need to set the origin. And I will be using the laser. to help me set the starting point. I don't know if you can see, but there is this, um, don't know if you can see this red laser. I hope it shows. I need to move that point two inches down and to the edge right up to here. So I'm going to press offline and using the direction buttons, I will move that light to right about here something like that okay now I will set it set the origin so that the X and Y are zeroed and I will bring it back to online here you will see the V and F actually stands for velocity and force 
velocity really just means the speed and force well it's just the pressure to adjust the speed i will use this direction buttons so i will decrease it by pressing down and increase it by pressing up the force i will decrease by pressing the right button and of course the left button to increase it okay so now i will show you how it sounds like when it is cutting now i am still learning how to use this cutter but on the black cat forum um, there are really good um, instructions i actually downloaded this video tutorial that showed me how to set up the machine and how to make it cut through make the cut and that was very helpful Well, it's done. Now, before I remove the mat, um, I just wanted to mention that these numbers are just something that I'm trying out. I'm still playing around with the machine. And the cardstock that I just used to cut out is something that um, I have mentioned many times on my blog. It is the Georgia Pacific white cardstock that I use for my print and cut projects. It's not really heavy cardstock, but it, um, I think it works well for for printing, and it's it's very um, affordable. Okay, now to remove the mat, I will have to bring the machine offline, and I could just use this direction button to bring it out, or I could, as I have mentioned earlier, release the clamps at the back, and just take out the cutting mat like that okay. now I actually have cut out the butterfly that you have seen me attempt to cut before um, with my gazelle and my silhouette and um, it is from the pop-up butterfly card I'm going to try to remove it from my very sticky new Cricut mat and I am not having much luck I will take a picture of these cutouts and post it on my blog so please head back to underacherrytree.com to um, take a look at what the links uh, just cut out okay so see you later bye bye